that this is the final part of my uh, dome build. I'm going to install the camera as well as the lid hardware. I'm going to start by putting in the bolt and uh, washer. It's a quarter inch by one and a half inch number 20 bolt, which is standard for a tripod mount. It's the same hardware I use for the magnet. Retaining clip uh, to keep the bolt from uh, backing off. Uh, it's probably overkill, but I decided to install that. Special hardware section of Lowe's. Also glue in a large washer that I had in the in my toolbox that's gonna be the mount for the the tripod itself. Once I've got it threaded in, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it past hand tight with the screwdriver. with that then I want to go ahead and test it for full travel uh, before I secure the cables. It's important to figure out the right length before securing them. Use quarter inch cable clamps. secure uh, with two on the inside and two on the outside and once uh, done with that then from the inside and outside uh, fill the hole in with caulking and then paint over it and I'm complete with that I'm going to go ahead and secure the lid to the top and get ready to hinge the front For the hinging, um, I'd originally purchased hinges and I uh, didn't like the way they worked and the lack of flexibility, so I decided to use some very heavy duty pond liner that I had sitting around in the garage from a previous project. What I'm going to do here is use that Elmer's Advanced uh, glue that I've been using and use plenty of it and glue it on either side of the hasp to the edge on both sides. Once uh, that's in place, I'm going to let the glue set up for 24 hours before tacking it in. Uh, it's, it's working really well for me, flexibility, and it also helps deflect water from the uh, seal that I've got. I'm just going to tack it in, top and bottom on both sides. About eight on top, eight on the bottom on each side. So 32 tacks. Once I was done with that, I went ahead and sp sprayed it with that uh, Rust-Oleum rubber paint, and uh, that worked really well. Now we're going to go ahead and install the uh, lid support. Now hinged. I just hold it open with scrap wood and uh, install the lid support. The support doesn't come with a washer for this part of the install, but I want to use a washer between the support and the box itself right there. And once my final screw is in, the build is complete. it up and here's the final camera thanks for watching uh, check me out on mesomass.com for live weather and live chasing as well as live chasing at tvnweather.com and 
also check me out on social media. Thanks for watching.